James Akers here, the tie guy. Today we're going for a nice classic look with a purple shirt, gray suit, and just a beautiful uh, purple um, striped keton tie. The reason I say it's classic look, something about these striped ties to me is just classic. Um, this tie is, of course, uh, like I said, it's keton. Keton is uh, one of the highest in one of the best uh, Italian uh, brands, one of the best men's brand period in the world. Um, and uh, they make very, very good product. Everything's pretty much handmade by their chosen tailors there in, in Italy. Um, their silk is always a very high quality silk. This particular tie is not super thick. I have a couple katans that are thicker and softer. This is a little bit more of a rigid silk, but it's still got a nice feel to it. And of course, they're all hand done, hand folded. So, uh, you know, you can see there's, always, there's sometimes a little seam here, um, but the tie is absolutely beautiful. So um, what I'm doing is it's, it's got some dark purple and light purple. So I'm matching it with a light purple shirt, should just pull it out, and a gray suit. And then we're going black belt, black shoes. I'll be going over the look here in just a couple minutes. Let's tie this up to see what it looks like. You know, Catan ties always tie very, very nice because it's a little bit of a, um, it's not super thick, uh, but it's also not the thinnest. We're going to go probably, I'm thinking right in this range as far as our length goes. And let's see what that looks like. I have uh, I have worn this tie a couple times, but it's been a while since I've worn it. So we'll, we'll see, see if we get tied right. So we take the long part of the tie over top and we come underneath, up and through. And then we go around behind and then back up over again and through. And this is what I call the checkpoint. This is where I'm going to look to make sure and I adjust my knot, make sure it's all coming together nice. And then we come out on the front and then behind, up and through. And now we go through the little pocket we created when we brought it around the front. We hold the top of the pocket, pull the tie through, and then we adjust the knot by holding onto the knot. Just hold onto it like this and pull it on the long part of the tie and then the short part of the tie to bring it up. We want to check the length. We want to make sure that the tip of the tie, this part, this part here of the tie, should be somewhere between the top and the bottom of our belt buckle. And this one is coming yep, right there about halfway down. That's exactly where we want it. So let's bring the collar down here. Let's see what this looks like. I've never had a Keton product that I wasn't happy with. They do make a very, very good product. Um, okay, so let's just adjust this a little bit. This does make a little bit of a thicker knot. So it's, it's really ideal for a spread collar, but it's going to work here. It's going to look really nice when we're done with this. So um, there we go. Got us a nice knot tied. Fills up the collar really, really well. So let's uh, put on the jacket. The look will start scrolling across the bottom of your screen. And on my Instagram, which is Acres, you will see close-ups of the shoes, the belt, the suit, the tie, all together. I'm trying to learn better ways to display stuff because this is all kind of new to me. But as far as the look goes, we have a charcoal gray, a Myrna Gildo Zinnia suit. We have a purple Brooks Brothers, more of like an Oxford type shirt, uh, not a button down collar, but it has a nice texture to it. So it's just a, a textured purple, uh, light purple shirt. We have a Keton dark purple tie with some light purple uh, stripes. We're today pairing that with a, a nice black Salvatore Ferragamo belt with a gold belt buckle. And we're putting it with a pair of uh, black Christian Louboutin Oxford uh, dress shoes. There'll be close-up pictures of those on my uh, Instagram as well. And I love this look. Very classy. And I am ready for work.